In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the object tracker, one of the new features of Final Cut Pro 10.6 that we had been waiting for for a long time. You can use the object tracker for many purposes, with titles and lower thirds, images, videos, color correction and effects. But in this video, we'll only focus on how object trackers work with titles or lower thirds. So how can we use an object tracker? There are several ways to use an object tracker, and the easiest way is to drag a title onto the viewer. It'll automatically detect trackable objects, and all you have to do is drop the title onto the object you want to track. Then click, Analyze, and it'll analyze the movement of the object you selected. Click Done after it's finished, and adjust the scale and position of the title. You can also do this when the Transform tool is turned on. Then, customize the title's elements. And the title's movement is now matched with the object that you selected, which is the peppermint in this example. Notice that when the title you're using has a build-in option, it may be automatically turned off when a tracker is applied to it. You can turn it on again if you'd like to. You can also shorten or lengthen the title's duration, and it won't affect the tracker. Let's give our tracker a name. This helps us stay organized when editing videos, especially when you use multiple trackers. Another way to add a new tracker is to click this tiny icon next to the Trackers tab from the inspector. Again, name the new tracker, and change its shape and size. Then, move the tracker to an object you want it to track, and hit Analyze. If you position the playhead in the middle of the clip, it will analyze the object's motion from the playhead forwards, and then backwards. Let's make a copy of this title. But we'll change the tracker of this duplicated title. To do so, simply select Transform. Then from the Tracker drop-down menu, select Blueberry Tracker Source. And the Blueberry Tracker is now applied to the Blueberry title. Let's customize the Blueberry title's elements. You can switch tracker sources easily through the Tracker Source drop-down menu in the viewer. Now, notice that when you select an object to track with your title, and that object isn't visible throughout the duration of your title, the title will become wobbly like this. To solve this issue, make sure to select an object that is clear and visible throughout the duration of your title. The titles are quite jittery at the moment. This is because the rotation is used with trackers. Deselect them, and it'll solve the jittery issue. Next, we'll have a look at how to make a title scale up or down as it's being tracked with an object. In this example, our title is matched with the movement of the runner. But we want the title to become bigger as she runs forwards. If we add scale to the tracker, the title will be distorted like this, which is not what we want to have. So instead of using built-in scale for the tracker, we'll keyframe the title's scale and position. Let's scale the title down to 35%. Hit Transform. Then move the playhead to where you want the title to start scaling up. Add the first keyframe here. and add another keyframe where you want the scale to end.
and increase its value at the second keyframe. We also keyframe the title's Y position and drag it up slightly. And we have our title slowly scaling up and following the runner at the same time. Tracking an object behind another object can be tricky, but in Final Cut Pro 10.6, there's an analysis method called machine learning that can help us with this. As stated on Final Cut Pro user guide, the machine learning method can also overcome moderate occlusion, in which the tracked object passes behind another object. For example, if a tracked object passes behind a tree for a few frames, the machine learning method can continue tracking the object on the other side of the tree. Let's use this footage as an example to see how well the machine learning method works. We're going to add a tracker to the man in red wetsuit. First, we'll add a tracker to his head. Then select the machine learning analysis method and hit analyze. Let's open the tracking editor. As you can see, it will only track up to this point and stop when he's behind the man in black wetsuit. Let's drag the playhead to where his head is visible again, then hit Analyze. And we can see that the object tracker continues tracking his head even when he's running behind another person. Now when we add a title and match its movement to the guy in red, we'll have a smooth title motion track. When you track a title to a moving object in your footage, Final Cut Pro will analyze the motion of that object and generate object tracking data in the form of keyframes. If you're not happy with some keyframes and want to remove or adjust them in a motion track, you can use the tracking editor to edit keyframes. Let's say I want to remove these keyframes. I just need to drag to select the range and click delete to remove keyframes. When I click delete, it will reset the motion track but doesn't delete it. To edit keyframes, simply show on-screen controls in the viewer by clicking the on-screen controls button. Then click the left arrow to move the playhead to the previous keyframe, and click the right arrow to move the playhead to the next keyframe. You can change these keyframe values until you're satisfied with the motion track result. With the new object tracker feature in this latest Final Cut Pro update, it surely will help video editors to create amazing and professional videos within a short amount of time. What's your favorite feature in this new update? Please let us know in the comment section below. The titles we're using in this video are from the food and fitness template packs by Simple Video Making. We'll leave the links to these packs in the description. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.